Well, guess what, y'all? Donald Trump targeting black folks again. During a campaign rally in Philadelphia, he told his supporters to guard the vote specifically in Democrat, predominantly black cities. Listen. Evidence we have so, and everybody knows it, and they know it. You know, the one thing they don't want to talk about is the election. They don't want to talk because they're guilty as hell. They cheated like hell. They know it. And you'll never find out all the ways, but we don't need all the ways because, you know, it was, I think, 22,000 votes separated it. And we have millions and millions of votes. It's a very sad thing. So the most important part of what's coming up is to guard the vote. And you should go into Detroit and you should go into Philadelphia and you should go into some of these places, Atlanta, and you should go into some of these places. And we got to watch those votes when they come in when they're being, you know, uh, shoved around in wheelbarrows and dumped on the floor and everyone's saying, what's going on? We're like a third world nation, a third world nation, and we can't let it happen. Well, there he goes, targeting black people again, Niambi. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's saying the quiet part out loud, and when you name check a city like Philadelphia that is half black, um, what you're doing, I mean, is really what he's doing now is reminiscent of what happened some years ago when I was still living in Philadelphia. It's my favorite city. Um, but they had posted these billboards in predominantly black and Latino neighborhoods threatening people that if they showed up to the polls and they voted illegally, that it was a felony and they could go to prison. Of course, to have this cooling effect, as Dr. Malvo pointed out earlier. And what he's doing is essentially deputizing the very same types of people who showed up on January 6th to show up in cities like Philadelphia and Pittsburgh and York and, and the outer suburbs uh, of these places and terrorize black people, to stare them down, to ask people about what they're doing here. I mean, and we've seen shades of this in other parts around the country. So it does not surprise me that he's singling out not just black cities, majority black cities, but places that he's lost, um, places where he's still smarting over the fact that people saw through his mess. And one thing I will say about Philadelphians, they don't take kindly to threats. So whoever is feeling froggy um, after listening to Donald Trump uh, is wise to be careful um, when moving through the city of, of Philadelphia and Pittsburgh and other places thinking they are going to threaten uh, black Pennsylvanians. And I think that's going to be something, though, that we have to watch out for. The kind of violence we saw on January 6th could very well happen again um, in all places around the country um, and not just um, in presidential election years. I mean, even in local uh, and state elections. So um, this kind of rhetoric is dangerous. Um, we've seen what it can do. And we've seen how destructive um, it is. Uh, I keep telling black people that they were targeting us on January 6th. They were mad. And you're seeing the exact same thing play out again right here, uh, Nicole. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, again, next year is going to be an incredibly important year. So we all must get people to register to vote. And we all must be ready to protect the vote. And if Trump gets reelected, I don't even want to imagine what could happen to this country. But at the very least, democracy is at stake. So we have to be ready and we have to watch what he says and be incredibly um, vigilant in protecting democracy, protecting our communities because of all of what's happening right now. Julian? You know, I really want to know what he means when he says guard the vote. And I hope that we're all very vigilant. I mean, if he intends for these hoodlums to storm polling places, that we need to make sure that the police, and all the police are not on our side, you know, he has a following there, that the police are prepared to, to protect our voting places. I'm not sure what he has in mind, but I know that when he drops seeds with these deranged people that follow him, they could come up with anything. So I'm, I'm very apprehensive about these words and about how they may play out. I'm also really apprehensive about those folks who will be scared. In 20, um, I think it was 2012, yes, it was 2012, um, they closed certain polling places. And so in Greensboro, North Carolina, I was there then as president of Bennett College, and one of the things that happened is they, they changed the number of absentee dates they cut it back in half, and then they put it out there that if you had any warrants and you came to vote, you would be arrested. So, you know, folks have warrants. 
I mean, it could be a traffic ticket. So uh, I know at least six people who chose not to vote because they said they had warrants. And so that, those kind of tricks we can expect to take place. And we, you know, Barbara Arnwine and her t team, Transformative Justice Coalition and others, I hope they're ready. They've got to be ready. We've got to have people literally at every polling place to make sure that there is no intimidation. All right, folks, back to our roadmark unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, get your hair ready for the holidays. Curl Prep Natural Hair Solutions at curlprep.com is an amazing organic line for curls, locks, braids, twists, and even those wigs and extensions. Women, men, and children are loving this line. Uh, first of all, look at the video and you be the judge. Folks, line up to see this product in action at hair shows and when they take a seat to try it, they don't believe it's their hair. You can buy the products at curlprep.com. It works on all hair types. Use the code ROLAND, that's right, lowercase letters, to get a 15% discount. Parents, you can also remove the ouch. You will love this system because you can count, you can comb the product through your child's hair with your fingers. That's right. Season Saints also loving the product. It's at all at curlprep.com. Again, use the code ROLAND, lowercase letters, to get a 15% discount it's a great stocking stuffer. You won't believe it's your hair. Again, curlprep.com.